to the P's and Q's podcast. I'm your host, Quinn A. Foray, and I'm living my best life, and I want to help you live your best life. On today's episode, I am extremely honored to bring this beautiful panel of spiritual goddesses to the P's and Q's podcast. First, we have this incredible powerful artivist. Her name is Toby Liston. We happen to be sitting in her beautiful space here in Sacramento called Lifestyle Art Space, which is a collective for the community where you're spreading your love and your light. Thank you so much for being here with us. Mm, it's wow. such an honor. Thank you. It is a gift and you are a gift. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have another one of my soul sisters here who you guys are already familiar with, Lauren Baggett. She is a designer, an artist, and a spiritual healer. And her mission is to use her light to raise the consciousness of humanity in this life. And you're doing a great job at it. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You. Welcome. Okay. And, oh, hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> oh, well, we have Kimberly Wright over here to my left. And she's a, a mother. And she's on this journey coming home to herself right now, which is mm -hmm. a very exciting place to be. Yes. We're so honored to have you here. Thank you for having me. Yes, they thank you. So many beautiful souls. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about our intuition mm -hmm. and recognizing that, getting into that. And mm -hmm. we're going to talk about soul family and what that means. But first, mm -hmm. we got to do our three fun facts. But today it's going to be four fun facts. So I'll start with my fun fact. When I was 19, my brother passed away, mm -hmm. my only sibling. And in that space, it left me feeling kind of alone. And along this journey, I have adopted so many sisters, mm. as we can see sitting here, <laughs> sisters and brothers. So when people yeah. ask me, oh, are you an only child? I said, no, I have oh. tons of brothers oh. and sisters, including you. So thank you. Fun fact. Well, I guess picking off of the energy and, and off of that, I was born an only child. Okay. And I, I wouldn't say I ever met my father because my parents got divorced when I was three. So in terms of feeling alone, and then on top of that, I've moved and have been to at least 16 different schools my whole life. Whoa. Whether it was boarding, private, public, um, in Miami, San Diego, Utah. And I wasn't a, a military brat. <laughs> you know, it wow. was just like, yeah. so. Um, You're an so, explorer? Absolutely, and a lonely explorer, it's felt. Mm -hmm. And so being with community and feeling tapped into the root system energetically, cosmically, is just such an honor. So thank you for being part of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank, thank you. you, yeah. Thank you for sharing that with and us. And we're all a part of that. Yes, and we so are. And so it's an honor to be a part of that. Oh, mm -hmm. likewise. Thank mm -hmm. you, sister. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow, I love that. Mm -hmm. Lauren, come on, girl. I am an artist who's never gone to school for art. I took one or a couple, a handful, yeah, it was a handful of art classes when I was a kid in Martha's Vineyard. Um, Shel Silverstein came by my art class and helped us move the table outside. Okay. Yeah, that was really, really mm -hmm. cool. That's super cool. Um, but I went to school for communication, but now I am doing just art pretty much. Wow. <laughs> and spiritual work. But oh, yeah. yeah. Your art is spiritual work. Mm. Yes, mm -hmm. actually. Yes. Talk yeah. about it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I graduated culinary school. That's so so cool. I have my culinary arts diploma. Yeah. She made cool. my wedding cake and it was And they made her wedding cake. Beautiful. And lots of macarons. Yes. So macarons. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. So many. And my wedding colors. Lavender, sage, and this chocolate brown. Well, cheers to you, wow. ladies. <laughs> cheers. cheers to your divine wow. power. Mm -hmm. and sharing cheers it. from that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful. Mm. We're so grateful yeah. to have you all here. Thank mm. you so much. I'm grateful yeah. to be in this space. Thank you. So, yes. intuition. Mm. Intuition led each of us to this moment. Yeah. Mm. Right now, here together, yes. in our own different journeys. Mm. How would you express what intuition actually is? What does it mean? My understanding and awareness of intuition in my life is trusting and listening to that still small voice inside that resonates deeper than anything I 
can ever hear any voices in my head, people talking, you know, you yeah. hear criticisms and the mental chatter, but it's this still subtle voice that has this deep knowing and trusting your intuition is leaning into that yeah. deeper and then it becomes a louder voice and then it becomes just how you move how would you encourage someone to start on that journey of learning how to listen to your intuition for all of us there comes different natural inclinations where mm-hmm. we we forget even our personality where we forget, I mean, society would call it ego, but I feel like we should even call it, like, a a child, Mm, you know? And so, but there's times where the child goes to play, and you're able to also play, and you're able to fall into a craft, whether it's, you know, skiing or painting. So I think when you notice what state you're in when that is happening, and you try to remember that state and bring it out, So you're essentially just allowing that ego to go play while you're really consciously playing and just Mm -hmm. allowing that lack of of fear and control and then just allowing. Yeah. 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 I love love that. Allowing. Mm -hmm. I like how you said allowing the ego to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because when we think of ego, we don't always think about the the childlike part of it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Inner child connection. We want to shut it down. We want to... Get it to conform and, mm-hmm. and but the ego it's a very integral part of being human yes. it's just a matter of getting in balance with the higher self and the ego and them working as a team to help you experience life yeah, yeah. I agree mm-hmm. a lot of times we're thinking of the ego it wants to protect us yeah right it's there to protect us and so we think of it as like more of like a parent figure mm-hmm. but that really comes from a lot of that child inner child mm-hmm. we gotta let the ego go out and play honey mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. Yes. you're a mommy mm-hmm. a mother mm-hmm. so you could probably understand the correlation well lots of us are mothers here but understanding the correlation between that ego child and letting it run and play how it is in the physical world as well it's also recognizing when it's your ego voice mm-hmm. um, versus your intuition because in there are um, a lot of times where they can get, they sound the exact same, you yeah. know? Ooh, yeah. And mm-hmm. and you question yourself, and that's mm-hmm. why you pause on a lot of things, but just knowing those different voices, and that comes through experience, and then knowing, like, okay, that was definitely ego, or mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. was intuition. Mm-hmm. See, and then you catalog, like, you catalog that. You remember, like, okay, when it feels in that place. Because, mm-hmm. uh, you know, it feels different for each of us. So yeah. really taking note of how each of those voices feel. How have you guys been able to determine which voice it is? Listening to that inner voice and how that inner voice, that resonance comes through, is going to be different for everybody. And yeah. so we could say the like how it is for us, you know, but it is important for everyone to create a space where they can sit with themselves, reflect on things. Yeah. You know, when you just have a gut feeling about something, people say, go with your gut. Yeah. Sometimes our gut can be nerves and fear and yes. trep- trepidation. You yes. Know? So For sure. it's like, well, what am I really? Because <laughs> <laughs> yes. if we're programmed and tuned to um, move from a place of protect, 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 then our instinct, which we will assume is our intuition, is mm. to, yeah, the assumption, mm-hmm. is to protect, 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 protect. And so we're going to be like, well, my gut told me this. This happened. I was right. That's my intuition. Mm. Yes. Yes. And sometimes the intuition <laughs> is to lean into that to so you can then expand out, see a pattern. Yes. Mm. yes. And see what points of this pattern you have the power to shift, turn, alter, and redirect. Come on. So I, I think when we lean into trusting our intuition, we go back to what Toby was saying about that play. Mm-hmm. Okay. There is this innocence in us that we have hardened and hardened and hardened and hardened, hardened that we don't listen to anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, that one that's like, let's just go dance in the rain just because, right? Mm-hmm. That yeah. part. And then we're like, that doesn't make sense. Your feet, your hair is going to get wet. It's going to get a cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that aspect of us, that, part, that deep core part of us wants to experience life at its fullest. 
And understand, we understand that you need a balance where you, you know, create boundaries, protect your energy, take yeah. care of yourself, be safe, don't yeah. hurt yourself. But beyond that, are we saying no to things for a reason? Or is it because we've been conditioned to say no in that situation? Mm-hmm. When we mm-hmm. could be saying yes. Like, does it excite you? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that child part of you. Not that I'm excited because I'm feeding a pattern. <laughs> you know right, I mean? yeah. That part. <laughs> Wow. Even just the question, how do I decide which one which one is talking, right? Mm-hmm. We're already acknowledging that there are there's a t- almost two dynamical mm-hmm. dualistic conversation, right? Mm-hmm. So we're acknowledging that. Mm-hmm. And so let's say the ego is the child that like will cry when it falls and does it needs to be fed and you know, it has all these just like demands. Yes, the ego. Just yeah, just feed me, <laughs> give me, you know. And so there's this you're acknowledging the dynamic between this higher self that is like, is the parent, right? I hear you. It's not time for you to eat because I know what's best, but you're going to feel a little bit of discomfort and we're going to work with you for how to. And so you're just acknowledging Mm -hmm. this relationship that you're having Mm -hmm. and then becoming a better and better compassionate yet constructive individual Mm -hmm. that is cycling it doesn't matter which one's talking because you have the parent and the child Mm -hmm. all the time so you are both you're the crier and the fucking parent (laughs) being like you know and And the the more that we become better parents and better children in that Mm -hmm. then ultimately it it there isn't so much like which one do i listen to as mm-hmm. much as where do i need to show compassion and where do i need to show constructive compassion oh, yeah. 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 yeah i love that come on we snapping on that i love that mm-hmm. 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 so much i actually never mm-hmm. heard it put quite like that i haven't that either you just <laughs> 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 i never heard it too here Exactly. Yeah. Yes, and Lawrence you. really helps me with that because I used to think that my wisdom, I always knew that when people would ask me questions, come to me like for advice or anything, there was wisdom that I had never even heard that I was learning from through the teaching I was lear- the student in that. Mm-hmm. And so Lawrence really helped me in, in the dynamic of like acknowledging that it is uh, it's kind of like basically a collection, a collective, you know, uh, individuals and energies that are trying to uplift mm-hmm. that you're all one a part of, aside from us all being one as well. Yeah. You know, but I think it's helped me at least acknowledge like, okay, um, this isn't just, I don't know where this wisdom's coming out. You know, it's like, okay, this is, you know, my collective guides and we're this is what we've decided needs to be said and once you can intellectually touch things you can understand them even more in depth so thank you to lauren for that it's just having an awareness is so empowering just being aware not we always think that power comes from doing shifting taking action but awareness holds power in itself just knowing something and being in the position to where you can see something, yeah. mm. then it gives you power in choice. Because mm. that, that's where the power is. Yeah. It's not in the action you take. That is just a m- representation of the power you already were tapping into, which was the power of choice and decision. Yeah. And mm. what to do with that awareness and how you integrate that awareness. And mm. mostly what I have found is when we become more aware of ourselves, whether there's there'll be patterns in me that I will see. And I'm like, oh, I need to work on that. Yes. But right now I'm working on this. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to put a pin in that. <laughs> I have I'm set an intention. I'm coming back to that. Mm-hmm. It's not going to mm-hmm. get left behind. Mm-hmm. Right. You know? right. But just my awareness of it, even while I'm not actively focused and taking action and shifting and course correcting, just my awareness of it allows me to make subtle adjustments Mm -hmm. and then when I do take action I've already been observing Mm -hmm. because I have awareness now I can't unsee it when it feels like I I'm gonna swerve this way a little bit because I typically lean that way so that awareness just allows an automatic shift well it's interesting I have a an example of Mm -hmm. when my intuition Mm -hmm. spoke to me so loudly Mm -hmm. and it has a lot to do with how we met 
Mm. And our very first conversation, we were talking on the phone, getting to know each other. We met through a mutual mm. friend, and this mm. is our first time, you know, having a phone conversation. Mm. And as we we're talking, I remember I was sitting in my bed, and I was sitting up, and I had her on speakerphone, and I was just really connecting with your mm. energy. And all of a sudden, I heard, Ooh, and I felt it all in my crown. My whole crown was just vibrating with this. Ooh, and I got up out the bed. No I was way. looking around out the window like, is somebody playing a single right, <laughs> right. now? And I was, no. mind, I was vibrating head. while we were talking. I'm like, no I'm feeling way. an energy. It's so much energy. Oh <laughs> so present, yeah. so apparent. Yeah. And that is one of those examples where I was aware mm. of what was going on. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And I said, oh, this is my sister. I'm so happy. And I said, we found each other. This is our first time being in each other's physical presence. Mm, and yes. it's been yeah. years. All of us. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. between the podcast yeah. and, and, you yeah. know. Yeah. yeah, this is incredible. It is this incredible, is, the energy yeah. in this room. That's and it was amazing. already built before we got here. Yeah. We already yeah. knew it was happening. Yeah. And yes. now mm -hmm. we get to explore it even further mm -hmm. in this physical existence. And when I mentioned in my fun fact about adopting mm -hmm. brothers and sisters mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and tribe and soul family. Yeah. Mm, mm -hmm. We yeah. have so much soul family, and mm. that was so apparent for me. Yeah, mm. it wasn't just seeing you; it was feeling. Yeah, mm. feeling that connection. Mm. Feeling resonance in our body is powerful. Power, because it makes it visceral. I know the way that you guys came together was of a similar. Some people would call it a coincidence, but we don't believe in that. When you pay attention and you experience it. I mean, we don't say I believe. I believe in this table. This table, I, I, I have my hands on it. It's leaning. I'm paying attention to how it feels. So, it's even you know, it's almost past the point. You know, when you're paying attention, it's not even a matter of believing anymore. That right? Knowing, mm -hmm. knowing, mm -hmm. knowing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, deeply. Yeah, knowing. Do you know that you're breathing mm -hmm. oxygen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't have to believe it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's just right. happening. Mm -hmm. right. it and is. then the understanding comes after yeah. mm -hmm. the breathing. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's where the, you have awareness of the process of it. But it's, it's going to happen either way. Mm -hmm. You know? I feel like we have these choice points. We, have, we can live a faded life, which is kind of like the soul plan before we came in, and we just kind of like move in that. Mm -hmm. And then there's that co-creative, we can create our destiny type of thing. And that's more deliberate creation in our life based on how we listen to our intuition, because we can set an intention. I want to experience this. Mm -hmm. And our intuition is what guides us there, just like our GPS system. We want to go to this place, and their GPS series up there telling us how to get there and mm. how to navigate, how to take mm. a detour because there's traffic. Yes. And we listen to it. So I notice that when there is this deep, deep resonance in the body, and we are, even if there are times when we aren't listening to it, somehow we always end up getting to our destination. Yeah. You know, when like we take our GPS, we put in a destination, and we took a left when they said right, but they will, it will always Reroute, get rerouted. Yeah. Because there's mm -hmm. nothing but divine timing. Yeah. Because yes. yeah. I hear, oh, that was divine timing. Well, it's then like, that would mean that everything is divine timing. Because yeah. no matter, and I think that's that's where we can let go of fear. Recalibrating the energy, yeah. yes. that's what we're doing here. Yes, yes. recalibrating are. the Constantly. energies from here. And yeah. so all those fine refinements, you refining your craft and that, and us all refining our own craft is the benefiting of cosmic upliftment. Yes. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I feel Ooh. cosmically uplifted. <laughs> <laughs> Just in this presence of this, uh, this power yeah. and this, this love, mm. this yeah. sisterhood. When you feel a resonance with like multiple, multiple people. Mm -hmm. um, what has been your experience in? You mean multiple people at one time? Yeah. Like this like right now? This. It, yeah. it charges me yeah. in a way that's 
deeper than this physical mm -hmm. existence. Mm -hmm. It's like I got plugged mm -hmm. right into That's the mainframe. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> like truly cycling all of this energy between all of us, mm -hmm. which is why mm -hmm. I adopt mm -hmm. so many brothers and sisters <laughs> on this frequency. Mm -hmm. And we have the same mission, yeah. which is why we're here together at this very, very, very special time in mm -hmm. humanity's existence. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're here together mm -hmm. to push forward the cause, to mm -hmm. help raise the consciousness. Mm -hmm. And we're doing a great job. Mm -hmm. All of yes. us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm really proud of us. Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm really the grateful. The yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. We were ready. We were ready to, to celebrate. Yes. 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 Knowing we came in with these warriors of light, we were ready to celebrate too. Yes, right? we like, shall. okay, we, we need to bring our glass and we need to be ready to celebrate because we've been putting in the work individually, collectively. Oh, yes. And here we are. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Muscles, like, yes, we have. <laughs> yes, yes, we have together. I've watched you all do it too. Yeah. I know yeah. you were telling me earlier that you and Kim do some deep work. Shadow together. work. Mm -hmm. We are shadow excavators. Yeah on a real level and it's beautiful and being able to have like you know a study buddy in that sense yeah. has been accountability mm -hmm. partner yeah. our lives are so parallel in so many ways that it but yet mm -hmm. so different mm -hmm. so we have these unique perspectives but there's so much overlap that has really helped us see things that mm -hmm you know, we couldn't want to see. Yes. I think the synchronicities in our lives together has mm -hmm. really proven in a nonverbal way that we are taking this journey together. It mm -hmm. is when I'm having some opposite experience than she's having, but we're mm -hmm. still coming together on these lessons. It's like, wow, well, that was my lesson. Wow. Yeah. That was your lesson. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just told me that lesson. I guess I should have, or, or yeah. I just told you that last week. Yeah. I should have listened to my own advice and like things yeah. happen wow. so closely together for us like that. Wow. That yeah. um, for the last ten plus years, years. Yeah. right? Wow. Like, um, so it's been wow. a, a yeah. long time, and we started very unaware. Uh, we struggled <laughs> unaware <laughs> of ourselves. Yeah, unaware. <laughs> of look, unaware, <laughs> unaware of what exactly? Yeah. Just our patterns, our, oh, the our way patterns. we showed up in the world, and in our, our relationships. Yes, in oh our marriages, mm. yes. significantly. So wow. so similar. What? So that similar, and, and that helped. But she saved wow. my marriage. I'm not wow. gonna lie. No because, yes. way. <laughs> like you guys yes, have it, become successful because yes. of each other. Yeah. yeah. It helped us Ooh, realize that's big. Well that's I have yeah. those yeah. again. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It helped us realize those gaps where like we can feel really defensive mm -hmm. when we're talking with our partner. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. yeah. something happened. I don't think we fully identified when, but like, when we it, had our daughters like two months apart. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, okay. Right. All right. We're done here. We've heard enough. Yeah. yeah. We, we were fortunate to be what? pregnant together, yeah. which was an amazing yeah. experience as well. Wow. Um, yeah. I don't know. Something mm. happened to where we were hitting uh, blocks. Yeah. And yeah. they were similar blocks. Yeah. But we wanted, we both wanted to come out of those. Yeah. Mm. And we wanted. We got awareness of how we were, not how we were intentionally being, but like mm. how our emotions could overflood ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. we mm. were bypassing the responsibility of our emotions yeah. and putting that on our on our partners. Yeah. And wow. that, yeah. I'm not sure where our awareness happened I, before then. I think, yeah, it started kind of when we realized, first of all, there is that daily life responsibility in a household <laughs> That we, we were carrying so much energetic baggage that mm -hmm. we could not, yes. like, even show up in our households the way we wanted to. No. So it started with us just being accountability partners for our to-do list. And yeah. then it got deeper. And then because when we started holding each other accountable, we started creating the space where we can talk about... Yeah, I, I got to like one thing today. Like, <laughs> like, just like wow, I'm gonna be really wow. honest. I'm dead on but even in that, you weren't alone. Even in yeah. your one thing, you weren't alone. Yes, yeah. right. And right. And, and, right. and you right. had seen each other go through. Oh, you had one thing one yeah. day, and yeah. now I have one. So mm -hmm. you were not alone in that. And the inspiration. Let's say she got three things done that day, or that day she didn't clap back when she could have it, it's, yeah. it's like oh great for you and then now it's like next time I, I'm gonna like well, I can 
can if she can do it, I can do it. Oh my god, it was. Oh it was a full god. support this group, is, yeah. and we just. What's the word you use when we go back and forth? We ever flow together. together. Yeah. Was that it? Tan, 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 tandem. Tandem. Yeah, tandem we worked learning. in tandem. Mm, so yeah. we would, we would yeah. paddle each other yeah. back and forth. First of all, when we're doing the deep shadow work, it's yeah. hard to be mm. vulnerable with ourselves. Yeah. Yes. And so one thing I noticed that Kim offered was such a safe place to be unjudged. Like, no judgment and I can just be like, mm. my shadow could express itself mm. and be seen and my and pain could be witnessed and, and acknowledged, and, acknowledged mm. and then and we could process it. Yeah. Because right. And then we can move to the next, next step. step. You're not yeah. moving to the next step if you still have resistance yes. and, and anger. It's like you have to honor, the ch- like you can't bypass the child's temper tantrum. You have to yeah. sit with it. You have to let it go. And then you have to verbalize, I know that you are really upset. That yeah. does freaking suck. Yeah. And then, and Thank then you're you like, we're not, sharing. right? And then yeah. then you move in like, well, what can we do? Like, how can we help ourselves? Mm-hmm. And then that's when we pull out Daniel Tiger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what Daniel Tiger? It's a kid show, and yeah. look, our kids Listen, are watching this it. show, and we're learning yes. how to manage it because this show is like, really centered around how to manage your emotions. Mm-hmm. Wow. And we, I'm, we talk about you see Daniel Tiger today. <laughs> <laughs> you see I, what Daniel? Did? He had big feelings. Yeah. I, I had I big feelings. Oh I had big feelings God. too. Oh, you're kidding. When I come into four, I breathe, I breathe through. Yeah, I had yeah. big feelings yes. too. I'm gonna look up some Daniel Tiger myself. Oh my <laughs> God. I had big feelings. Had big feelings. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Circling back to the whole soul family and the yeah. sisterhood of it, mm. what a beautiful reflection that you guys get to experience together mm-hmm. to yeah. become yeah. more aware, to ascend consciously yeah. and to assist each other in that yeah and sure you might not have the same mommy and daddy but we do have a soul contract before we come here yeah together yeah, yeah. yeah. and mm-hmm. it's perfectly intended for you guys to go on this journey together yeah, yeah. proud mm-hmm. of you for recognizing mm-hmm. that and for mm-hmm. allowing it and mm-hmm. for just letting it unfold mm-hmm. in its perfectness mm-hmm. And you're perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you're perfect. perfect. Period. Period. <laughs> oh my God. And following our intuition allowed that. Yes. Yeah. And when we do that, like we meet people and we grow more. The exponential growth that happens when you find a place and a space and people that you resonate with that you can be totally vulnerable, raw and authentic with and say, this is what I'm processing right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. And and then mm-hmm. it's like, it's cool. I'll help you. Right. Yeah. you know? And then we sort it together. Mm-hmm. And we're like, okay, well, that's that. You remember last year when you was doing, okay, we put that over there. Yeah. Right. All that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because we come with different tool sets yes. yeah. in our toolbox. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we remember things that the other one forgot and we just yeah. give each other reminders. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, yes. well, remember this? know this yeah yeah Yeah. remember when we did that this is just like that but Mm -hmm. a little different there was one phrase she would always say to me that I started using Mm -hmm. because I was like that's powerful Mm -hmm. and empowering she Mm -hmm. would say I'm not telling you anything you don't already know I'm reminding you of what's in what you already know inside and I'm like yes you are (laughs) oh my god I did know this and and then it makes me feel like I'm not incapable I know what I'm doing but I have to remember and she's helped Mm -hmm. me remember because I for the moment I was ready to clap back and I forgot (laughs) (laughs) that part (laughs) that's what I was I was for a second thank you for helping me let me fix my crown back (laughs) to my true me wow what an honor and what a gift I thank you ladies for sitting here to have this vulnerable conversation and sharing so much of your inner workings and sharing so much of your love and light with this audience. I've learned so much just sitting here. We all have. We're always learning. And I think that's like the really important that, you know, this is a, this is all a relationship between us and the universe. You are a reflection that I can learn from, that I can Mm -hmm. take accountability from too, Mm -hmm. and praise and like this is great energy and learn from. So if we can always remember that this is a relationship between us and the universe and all of us is a reflection of what we can learn from, what we can appreciate, what we can love, how we can love our 
And and that's why people say if you love you know others, you can love yourself, or love yeah. yourself first, and then you can love others. That it's because it's it's that that dynamic of oneness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's that's yeah. such a fun fun journey. Yeah. 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 This is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah. 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 Great. So much fun. I want to thank you all. <laughs> so Toby, thank you for mm-hmm. opening up this space yes. to me, to everyone. And um, meeting Soul Family, the way we met was really interesting because there's something about Toby that the experiences she's had in life is amazing how she's gone through all she's gone through and she's the way she is. She's unjaded and she Mm -hmm. still has such an open heart. It's and pure joy. Just pure, mm-hmm. pure joy. Pure joy. Oh, that's and so I love sweet. It. And like, I really sweet. thank yeah. you because yes. this moment right here couldn't have happened if you weren't so mm-hmm. open because that mm-hmm. when yeah. I walked into this studio, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if we like... I just wanted to mm. to see how I can participate and you were so welcoming mm. and you listened to your intuition mm. and I did hesitantly too because I, I was, you know, working through some traumas. <laughs> <laughs> Kim knows. We yeah. know you know because y'all are. Yeah. Wow. Like, open, like, just your warmth mm. helped me release the fears I've had because when we get traumatized by experiences mm-hmm. in life, it is so easy to recoil yes, and, and close up, up mm-hmm. so much, like a flower that just is like, nope, no, no, I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. And there is a consistency and a genuine consistency mm-hmm. or a consistent genuineness <laughs> from you that has never altered, never faltered, has always, even in those moments where you're like, you, you're you're being authentic and honest like I'm I'm doing my shadow work I need a little time there's always a consistent genuineness mm. to you and warmth mm. so I really appreciate mm. that because you've helped me heal a trauma mm. wow. just and in, entrusting in mm-hmm. just by con- being consistently you and authentically yes. you mm. so thank well, you cheers to yeah, you so to me. Yeah. Well, cheers to so safe much. spaces cheers to yeah. safe we can you all are, be safe spaces for everybody yeah. and mm. that heals the world is yeah. being safe spaces yeah. for other people yes. and and mm. and absorbing safe spaces mm. so I love be a I love space a, a safe space for people you know yeah. period to, be a safe space yeah, yeah. Well, to be yourself too. to be your authentic self mm-hmm. right well Thank you all for creating this safe space with me. I'm honored and grateful. Thank you, Toby, for opening up the lifestyle art space for us. Thank you for each being you. Thank you all for being here on the P's and Q's podcast today. Wow, what an episode. We got so many light codes here, so many divine downloads, and I thank you. And as Toby left us with, please continue to be a safe space. I love you.